Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vintage Story. I'm on the Radio Man 03, it's awesome to have you along. I think I probably should take this dirt down. So they can't spawn up on it. Right now, I don't have to light that area up because we haven't done anything with it yet. At the moment, anyways. Hope everyone's doing great, I'm doing fantastic, it's Tuesday. Doesn't mean anything. I know, right? It's just Tuesday. But here we are. Uh, making some torches, and I was... Well, I'm kind of kicking around uh, a little bit of idea about the... Um, Fertilizers. There's potash, right? And then we've got the bones. I was thinking if I fertilize the greenhouses right now, would that help kick them into gear so that when spring arrives, they've got more nutrients in them? I don't know. But I do know I can uh, crush bones in this thing and make bone meal out of it. And that replaces the nitrate. And then the potash replaces the potassium, and I can't remember what you guys put in the comments about, um, what's the K? Um, I'm not gonna be able to think of it. Anyways, there's one other nutrient that we need, right? There's three. There's N, P, and K. So anyways, this bone meal here, I think, if we take it out and actually put it on the ground, I think it'll actually benefit it. I gotta think it will. Let's, um, Let's do that. Let's go try this out. Let's see. We may have company out here. It's it's the middle of the night, but it's always the middle of the night right now. It's very it's very dark. It's very cold. We are in quite the northern region. You can tell by the uh, beautiful snow on the ground here. Now we, you know what? I think the other one's probably better. Nitrogen 64 here. That's not too shabby. I think it was it was down here that we did the turnips. Isn't turnips the nitrogen? Let's go ahead and bust this snow up right here. Nitrogen is at 58. So this was not the nitrogen. Um, I, I guess I need to know. Well, here's the nitrogen here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna. Oh, that's a waste, huh? The nitrogen's actually pretty good in here. It's low right there. Now, do I need to add more to it? Plus three nitrogens, plus 30p, okay. Huh, so this is actually giving me, this isn't giving the nitrogen at all. So I'm, I'm reading this wrong. This is for the, um, the P? I don't know. If I do that, I'm getting plus three nitrogen plus three potassium. So this is potassium. Maybe it's, I've got this backwards. Maybe the uh, potash is the nitrogen. Because it's giving me 30 on the, right? It won't do anything there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm left clicking. So it is bringing up. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't have any more. I was just looking. All right. Anyways, there's fertilizers, right? We've got three different kinds of fertilizer. You guys can remind me in the comments. It was just a few episodes back, I believe, that somebody left exactly what they were. And then potash we find down in the caves, right? And I'm thinking during the day, I think I might want to go down into this um, this cave next door to us again here and just kind of go down, straight down that chute and see what's down in there. I feel like that's what I want to do uh, today uh, when the sun comes up. I've got food on me. I've got a little bit of dirt. I probably should take a little bit more. 18 dirt. I'm going to throw those in there. Let's just take that right there. I believe the preferred way to do it is to use ladders to climb down. But I'll be honest with you. I do not understand those dang ladders. I just don't. They, they've got me completely baffled. I just don't know how to go up and down on them very well. And it's killing me. It's just causing me damage more than anything else. The other thing I don't have is armor. I'm going to put this shovel down here. That'll work just fine while we're down there. And this sword is just about shot, huh? Yeah, look at that. That sword is in bad shape. I'm going to have to make a new one. Hmm. 
Bummer. This one's better, but still, that's tin bronze, and I don't have... I've got enough tin to make one more tin bronze pick at the moment, and I don't want to screw that up. So we'll throw you up there, and we'll take the good one with us. And if we have to, we can make another copper one. Uh, how are we doing the torches? There we go. I figured that's enough of them. Like 30, we'll take 30 with us, and just kind of get our feet wet in there. What I'm going to do is... Now, since I don't like the ladders, I know... I am going to use the stair step method. I believe the ladders are much faster and I should figure the ladders out and it would be probably beneficial to me to be able to do that <laughs> uh, so that I can go up and down faster because when you get further down into uh, underground, your uh, temporal gear there in the middle of the screen on the hot bar goes backwards and the farther you go down, the faster it goes backwards. Well, if it, rain, if it drains, you go to what, the rest world, right? I've never seen the Rust World. I have no idea what it is. I was thinking about maybe just uh, leaving all my stuff here and going someplace and letting it happen and see what happens in the Rust World. <laughs> I was thinking that. Um, so I guess I'm going to wait for the sun to come up a little bit. I am going to take a bowl of food with us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat right now. Yeah, see, that's nice. That filled us right up, and then we can take this one with us. So, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for the sun to come up a little bit so we can enter that cave, you know, reasonably. And I'm going to take a look at my tools and make sure I have what I need in order to go. And I think I do. As a matter of fact, I think I might actually grab myself another knife and a stack of dirt, but I need to make uh, the knife. Oops. <laughs> can I move one of these? I can't. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, armor. Can't forget the armor, man. That's important. Okay, good thing I thought of that. Okay, ladders. Ladders 101 for radio. Walk up to it. It's easy. You just walk into it, push up with W, right? Getting down, I, cannot, I was not able to figure out how to get down from this thing. If you just hold shift, uh, you cling to the ladder. So, W to go up shift to go down it took me forever to figure that out forever in a freaking day <laughs> it did I'm not embarrassed it took me forever to figure out that shift it's it, you don't actually hook on to the ladder at the top and so I wind up falling <laughs> off of there like multiple times and um, you got to just be holding up against that ladder and push shift down. I guess you, you stick to it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. I got hurt a little bit. I did. I fell a few times. All right. We're at uh, 2.04 a.m. I've learned a little bit of ladders. <laughs> so um, I'm better off for it. I'm better off for it. You can't deny that. So I'm going to come back when uh, it's time for us to uh, head down into that cave there. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy... I need another lantern. I need one more for here. You know what? Since we don't really need it, let's go out here. Let's grab this lantern and take this one with us. We'll make some for out here. Oh. Put that there. I'm going to refresh this one real quick, too. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that's interesting. They're staying on. Despite the fact they're out in the open. Uh-oh. Visitor. What the heck? You didn't do nothing to me, buddy. Oh. How? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, amazing. The, the arms of these guys. These guys have got some arms on them. They can reach a long ways. Okay, I'll be back. It's, uh, you know, it's dark and it's winter. Whew. Awesome. Thought I'd go ahead oh, and cook up a little bit of copper so I can make another long blade and another pickaxe. Because I've got a new pickaxe in my inventory. i got one on the wall. So it's nice to have, I think, a couple of them in here would be good to have. Um, we need to split this into 20. There's 100. I only want to do a couple hundred. I'm kind of being finicky with my... What, what resources I do have. I think if I do that and split it up like this, it might cook a little bit faster. I don't know for sure. But we'll do that just so, you know, 
distribute the heat equally across it, I guess is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we got that. We've got a little bit of copper left over. There we go. Very nice. Uh, we definitely have to go do more caving. We definitely have to do more of the caving when the weather's better, where we gotta hit and run the caves and just run in and see what's in there. Because I think I'm, you know, that's the one thing I've not done too much of at all. Well, I haven't done hardly any at all. We've only been in the cave once. <laughs> so there's that. And I've got almost, uh, I think a little over 60 hours in the game right now. So, um, you know, it's happening. Uh, I'm gonna need some coal. Anyways, the sun's not up yet, and I was thinking about using... I've got some ladders on me, so maybe I'll try some ladders in there, too. It's just, it's really steep. And if I screw up and die, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to really kick myself for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we've got... Check this out, you guys. you got to see this. Look at this. 24 leather. 10. 34 leather. 34 leather. we got our backpack and then some. Yeah, those of you who don't know, I skipped uh, a couple of the different bags that you can have. Uh, so, uh, I could I, I just held out for these guys right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that stuff in there right now anyways. Perfect. Alright, let's go put this away. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so noisy, these guys. Uh, and then that, that should take us up to what we need, and I'm going to pour them, and then we can just leave them here. But at least I've got them made, so we're ready to go when we need them again. I really screwed up on the fertilizer. I apologize for just such a horrible, horrible attempt at showing fertilizer. I have no idea what I'm doing, obviously. <laughs> None. Uh, backpack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Backpack. Oh, baby. Um, I gotta move everything down here, is that right? Is that what I do? That just, no, I, I grabbed the wrong one. That wasn't even the one I was looking at to begin with. Okay, and then I need one more. Bam. And look at there. Awesome. We have full inventory. That is full inventory right there, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't get any bigger than that. And 18 leather to go. So we could probably look into some maybe some leather armor possibly, huh? We've got 25 right now. I gotta get these guys going too, but I really wanted to work this area out. We're gonna do this in the next episode. We're gonna kind of work on getting the tannery uh, put together better over here. What time is it? 5.38. Oh, I bet this is done. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. What? Oh my god. What timing? What timing? Absolute perfect timing. I mean, come on. Bam! It's all about the timing. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna put this coal away. And uh, I'll be back when we're ready to uh, head out the door, or unless something, of course, jumps into my head here and I decide to do it before I head out the door. We'll see. Eat the porridge. Yummy. Hadn't really noticed this, but my protein has gone down. It's at 50% uh, right now. That tells me I need to eat one of our uh, sealed jars with the protein in it so that I can get this to come up. Uh, I bet if I ate, what, four servings of a nice meat, uh, vegetable, and fruit. Our fruit is also starting to drop just a little bit, but this guy here, yeah. Yeah, just about in half. Huh. Interesting. Uh, temperature, though, is good. 37.8. We have we have not changed from that. It stays pretty solid right there. We're at minus 16. I'm, that might be the coldest temperature I've seen so far at this particular location. Awesome. The sun is starting to come up at 7 a.m. That is good to see. Yeah, just starting. Just starting to come up. Oh, you guys are such a pain in the butt. Get out of my yard. One of you mentioned an idea is to dig dig a block lower than, than the fence so that the snow will fall, you know, uh, down a block or put a half slab down there or something like that so the snow doesn't get quite so deep up against the fence. 
then we don't have to do too high fences. I don't know. I, you know, the, I kind of like to encompass this lake that's out here with our oak tree in it. Uh, I'd like to kind of encompass that into sort of our area if I could. Let me back away from these guys a little bit. I'm just hoping to use the window, but they're being so obnoxious out there. But yeah, I was thinking about doing that over there, uh, expanding. I mean, it's. I was trying to think to myself, okay, what would be the end game on here? The end game is so many different things that you could have, or it's just really a game that goes on forever. I mean, there's steel, right? And steel is a, is something you have to get. That's like an end game um, tool and weapons is steel. Uh, having, you know, a field, a, a, you know, three, four blocks of the flax would be amazing, right? I mean, that'd just be amazing. But yeah, you got to determine, okay, where, how far do you take it? How far do you go with this? I mean, we're only experiencing right now one, one year, one single year. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I am going to take it for a full year for sure. Uh, I definitely want to make it through there. And I don't see why I'm not going to. My temperature doesn't seem to change much. Uh, it is December 4th. We're halfway through the month about. Uh, so I got January to get through. And then February, hopefully, we're going to start to see the temperatures come up. And we can get some of those uh, colder crops in the ground. And they'll be just fine being in the ground. Why don't you guys stay on that side? I'm going to go this way. Oh, the crunch of the snow under my feet. Listen to that. What does these uh, trees say anyways? Will mature in less than a day. Oh, really? They're going to pop up, huh? I'm a little surprised to see that. Okay, I need to be careful because there is snow uh, in down in here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this snow. There we go. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and put... Oh, I forgot my lantern. Hold on. Forgot the dang lantern. I set it down. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. I set it down. You, you're coming with me. There we go. You guys watch the house for me. Okay, let's go. We gotta go easy though. One of you mentioned that the snow, or is, is the snow like icy? Can you fall and slip on snow? I don't know. It just made me think about that though. It certainly did. <laughs> so if you were just kidding around, you got me. You got me. Oh, you got me. Okay, that's set up so where they can't get up here. Well, actually, you know what? That block needs to be right. I feel like they can actually do kind of a catty corner jump. In a way. Um, hmm. Let's start going down over on this side. I'm going to put that right there. And we're going to start dropping. I don't care how many times I have to come out here and do this with dirt and, and get myself down here to where I'm comfortable going in. It's going to take me a while. And then we are going to leave a torch uh, every now and again so nothing hopefully spawns behind us. But you guys told me to go down this cave. Animal eyes, I believe. Now I can see why this is not the preferred way to do it because the ladders do make you go up and down really quick. And when you have to get out of here, you have to be moving pretty quick. But I think I can hop up these stairs pretty fast. And the nice thing about this is I can actually put a, just hop twice at any one of these spots and put a block of dirt behind me and they can't follow me up anymore, you know? Oh, there's my first potash. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, here we go, here we go. Man, is that potash? Oh. Am I? I'm not even picking that up though. That, that's not. I should. I should stop doing that. Um. Boy, I might probably do some mining here, huh? You know what? I think I'll just continue my stair this way, and we'll go down around. Oh, that. <laughs> we can't, ladies and gentlemen. We can't. Let's go ahead and make that fall, and we'll pick it up. 
That doesn't help me. There we go. Let's go here and then here. There we go. Beautiful. Holy moly. Look at this place. What a spaghetti cavern this thing is. Wow. Scrape this up of here. If anything, we've got... This is the other fertilizer I was talking about, right? This is the fertilizer I'm looking at? That I'm, I'm knocking off of this thing? Uh, okay, so the question is how am I going to get down from here? You know what? This is where maybe the ladders come into play. But see, they can climb ladders, and that's a problem with me. No. Pointing at the bottom. There we go. stuck on this dang ladder. Ooh, boy. Let's put a torch right there. Right there. Can anybody come up this way? I don't think they can get around that way at me. Okay, there's some guys up here. There's a guy right there trying to get through. Why couldn't he get through? Oh, he's stuck right there. We're going to leave him be. I was reading on the forums that people are talking about how quickly these guys spawn in caves and how it, it just doesn't seem like you, you can get anywhere in the caves. And somebody suggested maybe leaving them behind and not harvesting them and killing them. Maybe that's what you need to do. Let's grab some of this right here. I want this. I think this is for the farm, if I'm not mistaken. This is what I was talking about. The salt beta. Yeah. That's what we're getting here. Salt beta. I'm thinking I probably need a ton of it. I don't know how long this shovel's going to last me, but I need to be careful with it. It's the only one I've got. So we'll take... There's 45. We'll take those with us. Um... I feel like I could get over here. Well, that guy's got a claw. No, he's just a deep drifter. It's hard to see back there. It's dark. <laughs> Indeed. I panicked. I did not do well there. Okay, here comes his buddy. Oh, there's a gear. Block this off so they can't get through here anymore. That'll work. And we're good that way. There's one trapped up there, so I don't think we'll have any more spawning up in there. It is kind of interesting how it kind of continues on back in there, though, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to save my shovel. We've barely even gotten in here. Is there nothing back here? Oh man, it's kind of a bummer. Well, I guess I know that now, don't I? This is what I'm talking about. This is what we have to do. We gotta find these kind of caves and just dive into them because sometimes there's little dungeons and stuff in them. Can I harvest this stuff? It just turns into regular rock, huh? Okay. 
I was just curious if I could actually pick that up. Okay, we're going to just block this side off because it's got nothing for us here. Yeah, I don't see anything here, so there's no point in us even keeping this one around. Um, let's go ahead and grab that torch. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? Uh, let's go ahead and take that piece of dirt out. There we go. I'm going to put this here, and we're going to just go ahead and kind of do a thing of a bob right across here like this. Block that off, block that off. And we'll do that there and that there. And then that should keep anybody from wanting to come up behind us. So we probably should have a couple stacks of dirt. We're a little ways in here. A little ways. That tells me that that's all blocked off now. So, okay, it looks like they can come up on this side too. If they wanted to. I love the sound of that waterfall. Oh, there's water down here. Oh, this is a, like a watery cave down here. Check it out. There's a bunch of dudes back in there. Oh, what's this? Bismuth ore. I just don't mind if I partake in the bismuth ore, do you? I don't think they got anything to say about it, really. They, they seem to be stuck over there. Bismuth ore. So, I can make the bismuth, bismuth bronze, right? But, oh, they're trying to come under the water, but they're not doing a very good job of it. I'm watching them. I could see them a little bit. They're trying to squeeze through there. So, it's bismuth bronze, but I, I've not looked it up. I can look it up right now, but I'm in a cave and, you know, quite nervous. So, I don't think I'm going to be looking anything up at the moment. But we'll grab some of this. I think I need one more mineral in order to... Is it zinc or something, maybe, to get the bismuth? It's it's right here in H. I just have to stop. Let's grab it. And we got a little bit more stone, which we need as well. Yes, you're off on a Tuesday adventure with radio. I should never do my adventuring on Tuesdays because work is longer and I, I got to drive and everything. I really should not do that. <laughs> but I, it just seemed to work out that way. Okay, is there somebody coming at me? I hear, I hear splashing noises. Well, what's my temperature? 37.8, baby. Holding solid. Look at this guy. He doesn't, he doesn't get cold. Oh, that scared me. Oh! He, he, oh. Son of a gun, he got through that water. Come here, buddy. He scared me. Nothing. Um, food. We got 23 chunks of that stuff. We should be okay that direction. I don't think we're going to have anybody after us. Oh man, it's nice having all of our, our inventory now. Uh, our, yeah, our, all of our inventory space is now available to us. That's really great. I love that. What kind of armor should I be looking at right now? See, that's what I need to do. I need to be able to stop and look. Can I make hide armor? Uh, I have not looked at armor because it just seems like it's been so far away. There's another one thinking about coming through here. I don't know if they're they're like sinking and bouncing back up into the air or what they're doing. It's interesting. I think what I'll do is I'll probably cut a hole in the wall and see if I can get around that. Now that we are able to get to this location uh, relatively unscathed, this is nice. That block seems to... Oh, it's the... it's the Never mind. It's the coals falling off my torch. I was seeing some red flecks going in there, and I was like, what is that? And it's like, oh, ashes falling off the torch. I'm really curious as to what's back behind there.
quite curious. There's more bismuth back here too. Well, I guess we should have expected bismuth in here, right? I mean, that's exactly what we found um, in the other shaft there that goes the other direction. It's got the locusts in there, which we're going to have to go deal with eventually here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call that right there. I don't see any in the ceiling that I'm standing on here, so I'm going to leave that there. I am curious as to what's going on back in here. Let's see if we can dig a hole back to where those guys are kind of trapped. I don't know how long this will hold out for. Let's pick. Can I get to him? I think with his dirt block on, he was able to kind of get a little bit closer up here. Here you go. Come on, buddy. That's it. Come on up here. Where is he? He's swimming down here. Oh, God, he got me. Come on, you little creep. I think he's almost dead. Torches. Holy moly. Water. Holy crap, this is a cave and a cave. It's so open like this. It makes me nervous, man. It makes me really nervous. Uh, there's our torch out, so I'm going to leave that. Oh, we got a guy right down here. He can't get to me, but there he is. It might be worth going down there, huh? I'm worried about something coming in from behind me here. So nervous. I'm almost out of I'm almost out of torches. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Holy crap, it's huge. It's just a massive cave. They come falling out of me out there. Yeah, this is this is yeah. This is quite a cave. Uh-oh. 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 All my torches just went out. I jumped through that waterfall. Um, I need to grab this one back. Sorry, guys. i got to relight my torches. <laughs> I really screwed up there. That's not a good idea. Gonna block that back off again. Let's skin this guy. Nothing. See, this is all surface stuff. I don't feel like that's where I need to be. I feel like I need to go deeper 
into the caves. You know, I just feel like I do. I gotta find those ones that shoot straight down even further than this one does. This one is just Swiss cheese. There's no way you could light that thing up. There's just no way. I'm gonna grab back my torch. That's not a very um it's not a very friendly cave, this one, for doing this. For getting the potash, I think for right now, the potash is what I'll come down here for. Uh it makes sense to me that, that I would want to do that. Uh let's put these guys up here and let's grab this back here. And what I'll do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this so that they can't come up this way. They'll have to spawn here basically in order to do that. Which, of course, that's quite possible. But that gives me the potash area that, that we can come back with a decent shovel and get a bunch of it. And then I block this off right here. So, boom, we're good to go there. If I come back here and do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, that should stop them from coming through there. This was a dead end, right? So... Getting over dirt. I should probably do a little something across there too. Okay, so potash and bismuth is what we got. What did we wind up with? Forty-four chunks of biz, bismuth, bismuth. Okay, let's let's go H bismuth. I love that waterfall. Oh, I got it on. Uh, what does it require? Oh no, that's the wrong thing to look at. Let's go back here. What is just, what do I need for a bismuth brawn ingot? It doesn't really tell me what the metal is. Doesn't it just show like an ingot? Yeah, I don't know. Bismuth ingot. Ah, okay. Okay. What is it? Okay. I'm going to have to figure that out. You guys will let me know too. But um, I just, I need to get out of this cave. <laughs> Our wheel never did go and turn any other direction. Um, so we weren't down deep enough to have anything happen there. Uh, I feel like I need to find some of those other caves that go down pretty deep that you can kind of run into and, and just uh, see if I could find, you know, some goodness down in there. Oops. Snow on the steps again. Well, we checked it out. I uh, got some bismuth. We got some more stone that we needed, which is cool. And then we picked up... You guys were telling me that bismuth is what I need for the next level of tools. I do remember that. So I'm glad we've got some bismuth. It's poor quality, but it's it's some, right? We also picked up... Another piece of flax. And a cog. A gear, I should say. Boom. We're up to eight gears now. And we got all of our backpacks. <laughs> Indeed. We did pick up the stone. Boom. And a bump, and a bump, and a bump. There we go. That's pretty nice. We got a little bit of stone again, which is handy. The potash. I'm going to go ahead and throw that into... If I've got room... Oh, you're right here. Well, what I should do is throw that into the garden box, huh? Yeah, let's throw that in the garden box. Running in the snow! Let's throw that in there. I should have thrown uh, some bone meal. Well, well, you guys will let me know. I just, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.